Hi, right, Amy Flobart here, and welcome. Okay, so. Block placement. Yes, we're still using UE4 Mannequin because I haven't come up with anything better to use yet. So, I'm going to my first person view. You can see I now have a extra little icon on the bottom left hand corner of the screen which shows that I'm using cobblestone. I hit two, and I can switch to the oak plank block. So if I go back to cobblestone and I left click, I can place a block. Okay. Now I can hit two if I want to. I can place another block and it locks it to where it's going to place beside it on a grid of 100 by 100. So I can come in here and two, three, four, and five, switch back to cobblestone, place that one down, go back to cobblestone, one, two, three, four, five, and I can start creating a house or whatever, you know. Everything is awesome. Except for my camera, but whatever. So, this is great. I mean, I, I can place them down and, okay, well, come over here and come back to my cobblestone. I can place one on top, no problem. Place it on top there, there, and there. Wherever my crosshair is placed, it'll place a block and it'll snap it to a grid of 100 by 100 so that it's not interfering with whatever's underneath there. That's great. I love it. Very simple, very easy to do. Get to here and build all day long. But there is a problem. As I'm going through here and I'm building this lovely house, now I want to put a roof on. The problem I'm going to run into is I start placing a block here and I click on the side of the block. It actually just put another block inside of a block. We'll do it again. Notice the actor count is 88. I click here again and it just placed it on top. I'll click another one on here. It's 89 actors, 90 actors, 91, 92. So I can right click and actually delete actors. So I'm able to, to clean up my mess. But if I click on the side, it does not actually place it to the side of it. And I'm trying to figure out how to get it to accomplish that. And I said, again, it's no problem to sit here and place blocks, change them to a different type. Now, technically, if I wanted to be really awesome and stuff, I could just do that and clean it up. But the whole point is I want to be able to add a block to the side of an existing block that's already there. So if I click here, it worked then. I don't know why, but it, it worked. But now then it clicks there and I can sometimes get it to work from clicking on the bottom edge. And it didn't work there, it didn't work there. So it's only working if I'm doing it from one side and not the other. So if I were to start here and put a block there and click low on it and click there, it worked. Click there, it worked. But it's only working partially. And Yes, I can kind of make do, but I don't want to make do. If I'm going to do this and make it to where I can actually place blocks, you know, if you have the blocks available and do that kind of stuff, then do a block check, show the number of blocks you have of that quantity or quantity of that style or whatever, and be able to do it. So I can actually create this, but again, I have to be doing it from either of two sides, but I can't do it from the other two sides. And let's see here. If I click too high on the block, I'm sure it'll actually fail as well. So again, it works from these two sides.
but you'll see when I get around the other side it's not gonna work the way I want it to so if I come in from this side it's it's not going to work it placed an extra block there but it placed it inside the other block I can click on the flats all day long and it works 100% and yes if I go up here and I build a tower and I r remove them you fall down so I can remove from underneath there they're not gonna fall they don't have physics to them but if I come in here like I said that'll work but you see it won't place blocks when you're not in the first person view it's not a hundred percent and of course these are not persistent they're not going to say there's no save game there's no whatever this is just a, a test map so as soon as I hit escape and get out of it this structure is gone so what I've done here is in the player I've added the you know can place blocks and you know all the the stuff to be able to start doing it block plays so that's not an issue I mean getting it there you see it works um, I get to this point right here so we're going to use the left mouse button use crosshair is going to be on so this we can ignore it's just a condition to say whether or not I can start placing these and this is just a simple line trace by channel and I'm getting a I'm using a spawn actor and the actor that I'm using is the block to place and that's set by the key binding whether it's one or two the default is going to be the cobblestone block, so it's going to get that class. All I did was drag off from here, promote a variable, and set the default as the cobblestone. For the spawn transform, I did a um, make transform, and to get that, I used the impact point, break vector, snap to grid, float, and then use grid size of 100. So that they, the blocks are 100 by 100 units, so they're going to place next to each other. And then I did a make vector to plug into the make transform. By leaving the, the rotation at zeros across the board, it allows me to, whenever I'm placing them, if I'm at an angle this way, it doesn't matter. The blocks are going to place north-south. They're always going to place correctly, no matter which way I'm looking at that, that area, so that the world will stay in a blocky form. So you can see they're they're always going to place correctly uh, in the right orientation because I left that empty, and it's not going to modify the scale. They're they're going to stay one to one, and I set right click. All it's going to do is destroy actor. It doesn't like this because if you click on the ground, it's not going to delete the ground because it's not a true actor. It's just a BSP geometry, and it will give errors. But I'm not worried about that. That's just a debug cycle for me. But this is what I'm actually using to actually place the block down is a line trace breaking the hit result getting the impact point um, might have to do something like hit actor and if the actor is equal to um, you know either of the two that are for the block to place then offset it somehow but I'm not exactly sure 100% on how to actually fix this issue so that it works no matter which side of the block that I click on so that it will place because if I come in here and place a block and click on the side of it it went on top just then I don't want it on top and if I clicked right there and there it's placing it inside so if I place a block and click on this side of the block it places click on this side of the block for some reason it went above click low and there we go when I click over here it places inside the block I can click on the ground or I can click on top and it works but if I click on this side nothing if I click on to this side nothing click on this side nothing but click on the ground Yeah, see, I just clicked on on the ground and it shows an error it doesn't like 
the um, destroy actor for the BSP geometry because there was nothing there. So, like I said, that's just a debug error. I'm not really worried about that. So, if you have any clues, let me know. Because I can sit here and do this all freaking day long and it works just fine. And clicking on certain sides will work. And just then whenever I clicked on here um, and it placed the block up there, I click here again and it placed the second block inside that block there. I can right click on it and delete one of them, right click again and delete the second one. So if I click too high, it goes above. If I click low, it places right there where I want it to go on the side. And I clicked on the damn thing. I don't care. I know. Shut up. Um, the blocks themselves are just blocks. All it is is just the block itself. The blocks have their own collisions. So there's nothing in the event graph. They're just there. They're just regular actors. Um, the TNT block is partially completed. Um, it's set to right now, if you walk into the radius, it moved, sizzled, and exploded. So I can actually put Control C, Control V, a couple of them in the, into the map. And they will actually kill the player. So if you stand here, you can knock it around. And it will kill the player. Like I said, um, you see the health bar in the bottom right hand corner? It went to zero. It's just a, a simple respawn system. It's not 100%. So you can see that, um, you know, even if you come in here and hit play, <coughs> you activate it and run away, you're still going to get damage from it because it's just a temporary setup. So, I would have to trigger you know, like in range or whatever else. Um, that way it deselects the, the player, so it's not going to damage the player if, if the player decides to run away from the block that activates. So, not the, the issue of this video. The issue of this video was actually the um, block placement. Yeah, but we'll probably need to shorten the range up as well because uh, you don't want to be able to start placing blocks at 10,000 range. Um, that's easy enough to do in the player. I can just go into player and where I set the range, I can set it to 2,000. That way, you don't have a huge range in which you can actually place the blocks. So if I go in here and I click off into the sun. It placed one on the ground. I don't know why. And it snapped them to there. Um, I guess probably what I could do also as a failsafe is if I'm clicking here, whenever I get the hit results of what I'm hitting, this is not really an actor. The The ground is just a large BSP geometry. So if it reports back that actor equals zero, then or nothing, then do nothing. So this is all set to go across there. Um, on hit result, hit actor um, equals, or not equal, to anything. We'll have to figure out what to put there. So come up with an idea of saying if it's not in the ground or not the block or whatever, have uh, something that says, okay, if it reports back as the hit actor is equal to the landscape or what have you, then do nothing. If it's hit the landscape or whatever. So there is no landscape on this map at all. 
actually, let's go in here, delete the TNTs, so that my test map is empty again. Save all, save current. Um, I did create some sample meshes here, like um, this guy, which has got a very bad pivot point. So you can actually just drop in a quickly thrown together um, house just to showcase in another video that if you're trying to create a village you can pre-build these as static meshes, give them collisions and so forth and be able to have pre-made stuff. Uh, but I made the the oak plank block, cobblestone block, and the oak log. I've got materials set up already for the grass block for the top and the, the bottom and the sides because I've also got the dirt, cobblestone, bedrock, stone, stone bricks, oak planks, and oak log, oak log top, and of course the TNT. So that way if I come in here and say I want a, a grass block, drag this in here, and you can see there's separation. They're set to run at 100 by 100. So you can scale the, uh, the BSP geometry to that, and I'll put this at 50. You see, the only thing you'll have to do then is come back over here and change the uh, material on top, and change the bottom one to dirt, and then we'll change that back to 50. Then to create that as an actual usable, deployable block, then all I'd have to do is, with uh, that selected, you can change the name if you want to, doesn't really matter. Um, grass underscore block. Go into your brush settings. Create static mesh assets. And I go to my mesh folder. We'll call this SM underscore grass grass block. Create a static mesh. Go to the mesh folder. Grass block. We'll scroll down. Change light map resolution 128. And light map coordinates to 1. Go to collision. Add box simplified collision. Since it's just a square box, it's perfect collision to add to it. Save, close. And again, I can come over here, go to gadgets. Create a new blueprint actor be grass block score BP. Open that, go back, grab my mesh, grass block, add component, grass block, compile, save. Um, actually, we need to raise this up to 50. So it'll sit correctly on the ground, compile, save, and we're done with that. And here in block to place, um, what did I do here? Uh, the key bindings, one, two, and we'll do, excuse me, I right clicked, thank you, keyboard, three, and we'll just, set block to place and we'll just change this to grass block compile save and then I can go back to my widget that I created to show the um, the actual block itself that I'm placing and we have the image here which is just small I'm gonna actually resize this up 200 200 and you know I'm just gonna move it up manually and it's anchored to the bottom left I'll compile save go to the graph get block image all I'm doing is casting to the player and I'm asking you know I'm getting a reference to the block to place and I'm just gonna drag off of this and actually I can just control C and control V connect this into here Changes to grass. And 
Then I just get to the branch node. Actually, I can grab this. Control C, Control V. So I can add one more in here and connect this for the grass block and this off of the faults from here. And all we are asking here is if it is equal to that, then we're going to use a texture of grass block side and it's 100 by 100. Let's actually see one, two, and three. So yeah, now if I place a block, I can place a grass block. Hit number two, go back to my oak blocks. Go back to one, and I can place the cobblestone. So okay, so you see what I'm doing and how I'm doing it. And um, if there's, oh, we forgot to delete that one. If there's anything that anybody can think of that will help with fixing the other issue, let me know. Um, I'm going to continue to come up with issue, you know, ways of trying to resolve it, but I don't know right off the top of my head. Uh, I did another video earlier on how I, I made the, the actual textures and materials for the blocks. The materials look like crap, but these are straight textures that are used for Minecraft that were a 16 by 16 that I scaled up to 320 by 320 so that I would have something there and can right click right now and just go ahead and delete blocks can't what well, can delete you how about that um, so yeah so one is cobblestone two is wooden planks three is that I could set up an actual toolbar and all that stuff but this is still in the debug phase so that's that. Um, easy, 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 easy. It's just that I don't know right now how to resolve that one issue of the block placement where it works on two sides except and it does not on the other two sides. So again, I'm just using snap to grid float between my break vector and make vector of the impact point to the transform that I'm using for my spawn actor uh, spawn actor from class all right guys um, thanks for helping and if you have a solution let me know because I want to figure this out because that would actually be cool and I may even change my character later on um, and retarget it I'm thinking possibly Cindy Studios simple series which might actually go pretty well with the um, the overall feel of the Minecraft vibe, so you have a character that's similar to it, and they're easy to retarget anyway, so, yeah. One, and two, and three. And I might add some more blocks. I might do some more functionality. I may add a, a TNT block that I can deploy, because I already have a blueprint for it, but whatever. Thanks for watching, and help me figure out this problem, and if get enough interest in this project here besides all the other projects going on then I'll either release this to the public or release this to um, my I don't have a patreon account I've closed it down because I didn't care for it I've got screwed a few more times that I, I care to get on that but um, for people who are on my VIP list who have donated to the channel um, until I get monetization and super chat and all the other cool stuff to where I can actually have direct links for people who are um, authorized users or, or subscribers or what have you to be able to get an access to download the project files for this but again I showed in another video how to actually make this so if you want to follow that video and just build it yourself go right ahead but uh, yeah I just want to figure out that problem and then we'll keep on going. Thanks. We'll see you later.